Hola, bonjour, hello. Welcome to Chantou's Tarot. Hi everyone, welcome. So, today's video is a twin flame energy check-in, specifically the divine feminine energy. This video is a collaboration with my good friend and fellow tarot reader, Mystic Intuition. There will be a link below in the description box to her portion of the reading and also to her channel. There will also be timestamps for each of the piles in the description box below. So these readings that we're doing in collaboration with each other are an energy check-in for those who identify with being on the twin flame journey. Mystic will be focusing on the collective divine masculine energy, and I'll be focusing on the collective divine feminine energy. Regardless of gender, we all have masculine and feminine energies within us, so you may identify as either the divine feminine or divine masculine. In addition, we are harnessing the energy of the 1212 Ascension Portal. This date marks a time when the collective manifestation power is amplified and energetic vibrations are raised. So take advantage of this time by setting clear, positive intentions to manifest your heart's desires. So as I mentioned, Mystic will be focusing on the divine masculine experience, his thoughts and feelings, and what messages he may have for the divine feminine. I will be focusing on the Divine Feminine experience, so her um, feelings, thoughts, and what she may need to focus on right now. Um, the Divine Feminine energy is typically the more emotional and more awakened energy in the di Divine Connection in the Twin Flame experience. So we have three piles here. Pile one, with rose quartz, pile two with a selenite tower, and pile three with this jade heart. So you may be drawn to a specific crystal. Um, you may choose one, two, or even all three. And if you find that a one pile doesn't fully resonate for you, feel free to go back and choose again. So for pile one, we have this rose quartz here. For pile two, the Selenite Tower, and Pile 3, we have this Jade Heart. So take a moment to choose which pile is um, calling out to you. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to move Piles 2 and 3 out of the way. Okay, so if you chose pile one, this is your reading. Okay. So first, pile one, we're gonna begin with your current headspace and heart space, thoughts and emotions. So this first line here is your, your thoughts, your headspace, and the second row here is your emotions. So we have the nine of swords, which is air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, then the Empress, which can uh, indicate Taurus or Libra energy, and Ace of Wands. This is fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So in your thoughts, it looks like you're really worried. Um, you, know, you see in the Nine of Swords, this person um, is in bed, but they're not asleep. These shadowy figures in the back can be considered um, manifestations of anxiety, worry, doubt, fear. Nine of Swords can mean that you may be having trouble sleeping. Um, you know, you may be having trouble falling asleep or waking up throughout the night. You could be having disturbing dreams, even nightmares. But these worries and doubts are usually self-imposed. Um, they're not an indication of um, what will happen. It's usually your mind flitting from, well, what if this and what if that? And you just, you know, um, you block your own um, manifestation power when you allow these these destructive negative thoughts, these self-deprecating patterns of thinking um, 
to overwhelm you. So you could be having trouble sleeping and it's because, you know, even if you're physically tired, your mind is not still. Um, you could be worried about fertility for some of you. Um, you know, maybe you're worried about not being able to have children because you're of a certain age. Um, also getting that there may be thoughts about the nature of the connection. Perhaps you're worried that it's just physical, you know, because this is a very powerful um, chemistry card, you know, sexual energy, a lot of lust. Um, so yeah, you, you could be worried that this relationship um, won't develop beyond the, uh, the physical connection. But you also feel you know, besides those worries, you're also, in your mind, you, you also have been considering this, the creative potential that is available to you um, with this relationship, you know, an, an opportunity to start over. Um, you know, perhaps the connection started off very physical, and you see the potential for it to grow into something more. Um, you know, this also is the Divine Feminine Energy card, uh, the Empress. So you may be um, working really hard on shifting your thoughts away from this negativity into being more self-loving, self-compassionate, and more confident. Not just about yourself, but also about the connection. Yeah, there's a lot of potential here for you to grow. Um, as an individual, but, and also as a romantic partner, I think, um, you know, this person helps to cultivate your nurturing, loving, caring side. The, the Empress is very empathetic. So you think very fondly of this person and you have great, um, great hope, um, that things will develop into something strong and lasting. Now, underneath we have the emotions here. So we have the Four of Swords. This is more air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Page of Cups, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we have the Tower card. So yeah, it feels like you've fallen very hard. And it may, you know, this connection may have inspired you to um, keep this you know, even though this may be a, an emotion or connection you've never had before, unlike any other, you know, I feel like you might be keeping it to yourself, like being very contemplative about um, how you'll proceed, who you're going to share, um, you know, knowledge about this relationship with. I feel like with this card, you're being very protective and it may, you may be um, withdrawing a bit in order to... Um, Find balance here because, you know, with the, the tower card, this is, I mean, literally this person is falling head over heels. Things before in the past that um, are now no longer serving you, you know, negative thought patterns, uh, behaviors. Um, I don't know why I just thought even addictions or addictive behavior. And that doesn't have to just be, you know, to substances and um you know, it, it can be, you can really be addicted to anything, work, workaholism, um, food, exercise, anything in excess. Um, but, you know, yeah, I think this, this connection really bowled you over. It was more than you were expecting or anticipating. Um, and, you know, you want to share with this person how you're feeling, to reveal your feelings to them. Um, I feel like with this page of cups next to the four of swords, Either you may have withdrawn a bit or this person may have and you're contemplating how you're going to share your emotions with them if you haven't already. But yeah, this is, you know, a once in a lifetime kind of connection, clearly. And it just really, you know, I think it took a lot of you by surprise and you're guarding, you know, your heart in a way. I mean, because you, you feel very strongly towards this person, but I think you're cautiously trying to figure out what your next step will be. I don't see a lot of fast movement here. I think you're taking your time to observe, to meditate, to figure out how you would like to move forward. All right. And next we have 
Divine Feminine Messages of Love. We got three for pile one. So we are twin flames. So if there was any doubt or, you know, you were second guessing it, this is further confirmation that you are twin flames. Next, I'm sorry I was jealous. So if you um, allow jealousy to overwhelm you um, and this led to unhealthy thinking and behavior, um, perhaps arguments, you know, I, I feel like you're, you're feeling a little bit of guilt about that. Um, let that go, release it. Um, and know that jealousy comes from fear. So release that, do your best to release the fear because um, fear can cause us to behave in really toxic um, ways. And next we have feel my love. So whether you're in separation or not, or you know, you're in no communication, or perhaps you are communicating, but you're not sharing everything with, uh, you know, everything about your feelings to this person, you know, you're saying, feel my love, it's there. You know, whether we speak or don't speak, when we argue, um, whatever the state is of your connection, you know, I think you're sending a lot of positive energy and um, healing to this person. You know, um, that even, in, even if you're not physically together, you still um, are sending them love, which is beautiful. All right. As far as what you can focus on for yourself, uh, pile one, we have these two power of surrender cards. We have surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So yeah, jealousy and obsession can come from the same negative fear-based place. So of course, you know, you love this person, you care about them a great deal, so they're on your mind a lot, but don't allow obsessive negative thoughts about this person to um, cause you to, to be off balance, to lose sight of your own growth and your, um, your spiritual ascension. You know, it, part of this journey, as frustrating as it can be, is to learn how to love yourself and that you are, um, this person is always a part of you, whether you're physically together or not. But um, if you're not currently communicating or you're in separation, regardless of the state of your connection right now, use your energy this time to focus on yourself, to heal yourself. Okay, because when we work on healing ourselves, it helps to heal the connection and, and it helps for that other person to heal as well. And next we have surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear non-defensive response. Yeah, I think there may have been a tendency here to lash out in anger um, in jealousy, um, to be obsessive. And as I said, that all comes from a fear-based place. So release that fear. I think that's the biggest thing you can, you can focus on right now. Um, you know, take some of your, your energy back, um, for yourself. You need that. You need that healing and you need that energy for yourself to grow. Um, and try your best not to be defensive. You know, it is, it is, um, reacting, uh, impulsively and and in fear rather than responding mindfully. And the last card we have for you, pile one, is um, from the gems, the angels and gemstones guardians cards. I love these. They're two double-sided cards. So first we have the angel of wealth, health, wealth, and happiness. I am healthy, prosperous, and happy. I am grateful for and enjoy all of the gifts that come into my life. All is well. I am joyous and life is good. I have gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. So yes, let gratitude be your, your mantra. Um, maybe consider starting a gratitude journal, um, maybe volunteering, but um, take time to recognize all of the blessings already in your life rather than focusing on lack or what you don't have or, you know, your relationship not being in the place that you want it to be. Focus on the positive, on the good, on the abundance already present in your life and you will continue to attract more.
And the crystal associated with that is Jade. How is your health? What's going on for you financially? Take the necessary steps to improve your well-being. Eat health-promoting foods and incorporate exercise into your daily life. You have good fortune and live a charmed life. So be more mindful of what you're consuming, you know, what you're eating. Even I want to say news and social media. Be more mindful um, because those can affect you, uh, impact you in ways that you may not even um, fully recognize. Um, try to eat healthier, you know, um, you know, December tends to be a time when we overindulge because of the holidays. So that's okay if you want to enjoy some food, um, you know, and drink, but just be mindful, you know, allow it to be, um, you know, a special occasion rather than overindulging every day. Try to get moving to improve your overall health, um, including meditation, but exercise, walking, spending time in nature, but putting focus and energy on your, your physical health um, and establishing your own um, financial independence and stability rather than, you know, looking for your divine masculine to fill some void, um, you know, or fix things for you. Focus on what you can control in, in your life. All right, pile one, I hope that you enjoyed that reading. And now we're going to move on to pile two. Okay, so if you chose pile two, you chose the pile with the selenite tower. Okay, so. First we have thoughts and feelings for you, pile two. So this top line represents your thought or thoughts or headspace. And this bottom row here is uh, your heart space or your feelings. So on this top row, we have the fool, which can be um, Aries energy. Also the, um, the emperor can also be Aries energy. This is actually the divine masculine, the card that usually represents the divine masculine energy. And the Queen of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So for Pile 2, this could be a new connection for you. Um, the Fool can represent beginnings, taking a leap of faith. See how this figure is on the edge here. She's carefree. She's ready. She's ready for something new. She doesn't know exactly what's going to happen, how things are going to unfold, but she's excited. Also noticing this here, this flower reminds me of sacred geometry, so you may want to look that, um, that topic up. Uh, maybe, you know, information about sacred geometry may be relevant for you and your connection. Um, I feel like you think about, well, clearly, I mean, you're watching this reading, you think about this person a lot. They are, you're, you know, even if, um, you know, you may sometimes question where things may be going with this person, you're very sure of, of um, their, the part that they're playing in your life, the fact that they are the divine masculine. The emperor is the king of all kings. He's the protector. Um... Uh, he provides um, stability. Uh, he, he, yeah, he could be um, also father figure. For some of you, he may, um, and when I say he, I'm referring to the divine masculine. That's the energy, regardless of gender identity. Um, this person could remind you potentially of your father or a father figure in your life. Mm. This person could be very strategic. You see them as being very strategic. I see this looks like a chess piece here, um, that, that they plan a lot. They they value structure. And I'm noticing this onk here. So they could also be very spiritual. Um, you could be a, a fire sign, but I feel like there's a creative spark here. I feel like this person encourages you to express yourself creatively and that could be through the written word music art singing um or just doing things with your hands i'm noticing this spark here i feel like they make you excited about life um you know when you when you think about them you 
yeah, you get, you get, you get excited about all the possibilities that are available to you. Um, I think they just make you feel good about being yourself. And yeah, I think this person's presence is very grounding for you. Um, you know, you compliment each other where, where you may, um, in areas where you feel like maybe you're not as grounded or secure, they help you to cultivate that. You, you, you are positively impacted by, by this person, by the way they think and um, view the world. Okay, so now underneath we have your heart space. So this is the Four of Swords. That's really interesting. If you, um, if you haven't already seen Pile One, they, you and Pile One both got Four of Swords in the same position. So this is Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we have the Five of Cups. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And then we have the Five of Swords. This is air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I feel like some of you may be in separation or no communication. Um, and you know, you may have needed to withdraw and focus on your own healing because you know, the last time you communicated um, may have been conflict or you know, you just may be hurting about, you know, about the current lack of communication. Um, you know, the Five of Cups does indicate sadness here, um, but you'll notice, you know, we although we can't see inside these three cups here, we can make the assumption that they're full. This person is focusing on the, the cup here that is running. Um, you know, I do feel in a heaviness here. I feel like you're definitely missing this person. You know, you could be in communication with this person, but I feel like for a lot of you, a lot of the collective energy watching is you're you're feeling a sense of loss um, and of despair with the Five of Swords. Like you, you know, you you feel like you may have lost the battle. But I want to say that Fives are temporary energy. So they don't indicate something that's lasting. This sadness will dissipate. Um, and, you know, you may have felt like you lost the battle, but you haven't lost the war. You know, battles are, uh, uh, wars are usually made up of battles. And I, and I feel like it's not even necessarily so much as a battle between this person, but it's um, a battle between your light and your shadow. Um, you know, you may have people who have been in your ear who made you who made you question your feelings for this person, um, and this this bird could also indicate you know your ego, um, making you doubt yourself and your feelings and your previous actions. Trust that everything is unfolding as it should. That the separation is not a time for you to focus on, um, you know, your despair or depression. You know, of course, you should process your feelings. Don't deny or resist them. But know that this is not, this is not the end. Things will get better. Um, don't allow your ego to make you question your feelings, okay? You know what you feel. What you feel um, is, is valid and um, it's, an, it's important. I think taking this time to balance, rest, um, rejuvenate, and, um, you know, if you're, if you're not feeling great, that's okay. Allow yourself to process that, that emotion, you know, what we, that which we resist persists. So if you try to deny, um, the rest, uh, that you need, the, the healing that you need, um, if you deny, you know, negative emotions, it, it can cause you to suffer more longer. So allow yourself to feel what you need to feel and trust that things will improve. Okay, and then for divine feminine messages of love, we received, I promise you, love. So I really do like this card. Um, you know, if you haven't already communicated this to your divine masculine, you're, regardless of what may have happened in the past, um, you know, there's there's nothing but, but love and unconditional love and compassion for this person. So if you are in communication, you know, share that with them. Or when you do come back together, let them know. You know, I can't promise you that things are going to be perfect, that we won't argue, 
that we won't go through challenging times, but I can promise you love. I will always come from a place of love. I will always view you through the eyes of love. All right, and as far as what you can focus on, Divine Feminine, um, at this time, whether you're in separation or not, we have these power of surrender cards. So the first is surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So yeah, um, you could be, like I said, in separation or non-communication. Um, and you know, a contributing factor to your, your conflict or separation may have been, you know, you trying to control this other person, to control the situation, how it was going to unfold. Um, and we can't do that. You know, sometimes you just have to put out your intentions, um, pray, you know, meditate, and just trust that everything is going to unfold as it should. You don't have to micromanage um you know, your life experience, in particular, your, div your divine twin flame connection. Um, you know, we can't control other people. We can only control really ourselves. So let go of the desire um, or feeling the need to have to control everything. That's just going to cause you more suffering. And we also have surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So yeah, allow yourself to be loved. You know, if, if we allow fear to um, overwhelm us, it can prevent us from receiving the love that we deserve. Um, you also may be very proud and not want to admit that maybe you need help, um, but reach out to those that you trust, whether it's, you know, a family member, a friend, um, a clergy member, a, a therapist, someone in your life that you trust, um, that will support you and, um, you know, that you can share your, your, your experience with, you know, whether you need to talk about your, your twin flame connection or something else that's going on in your life. You don't have to do it alone. Um, so perhaps you want to seek out a group of other like-minded, you know, spiritual people, those who also identify as being on the divine twin flame journey. Um, yeah, maybe do some research into, you know, finding, uh, groups where you feel like you can share your experience, where you can learn. Um, but yeah, allow yourself to receive, you know, relationships are not one sided, they shouldn't be, if they're healthy. So allow yourself to receive the love that you deserve, you know, particularly in regards to your divine masculine, because you may have sort of developed patterns of always being a giver, and not allowing yourself to receive. Um, so make sure that that you, you recognize that that, you know, it's give and take and you deserve to receive. All right. The final card we have is from the Angels, Gemstone and Guardian, excuse me, the Angels and Gemstone Guardian cards. They're double sided. So on the, this side, we have the Angel of Plants and Herbs. I spend quality time in nature every day. I have an intimate connection with Mother Nature and her loving tools for natural healing. Essential oils and healing herbs allow me to balance all aspects of my life. So yeah, make some time to spend to spend time, quality time in nature. Go outside. If you can be near a body of water, um, deep breathe, deep breathing, um, perhaps meditation, even prayer. Maybe you want to exercise outside, but I feel like that would be very grounding and healing for you. I also think it would be helpful for you to bring the outdoors inside. You know, if you don't already, perhaps consider, um, bringing certain plants into your home, um, plants that uh, are purifying, that are healing, you know, perhaps some aloe, but that help to cultivate um, a healing, grounded, protective energy within your home. And the corresponding crystal we have is green moss agate. Do you like to garden? Are you a nature lover? Spend more time connecting with Mother Earth. Put your hands in the soil and your bare feet in the grass. Investigate the use of nature's pharmacy, such as herbs and aromatherapy for general health and well-being. So yeah, um, in addition to spending time outdoors, I do think perhaps um, using some herbs uh, in your cooking and um, perhaps herbal teas, but 
maybe you want to do a little bit of uh, fact gathering, information gathering about different herbs, perhaps consider growing your own within your home. Um, you know, if you're viewing this in the winter, fall months, um, you may not be able to put your, your bare feet, your hands in the soil outside because it's too cold. But if you have plants indoors, you could um, do that. And of course, if the weather is, is permitting, put your bare feet in the grass. That can be extremely centering for you. That's um, called earthing. So consider that activity. But yeah, being outside, I think, will help to cultivate greater peace and center you and um, provide um, sort of a sanctuary for you. I th so pile two. I do hope that you enjoyed that reading. Um, now we're going to move on to pile three. Okay, so if you chose pile number three, we have here the Jade Heart. All right, so we're gonna begin with current headspace and heart space, thoughts and feelings regarding the connection. Okay, so in the headspace up here in this top row, we have judgment. We have the emperor. Actually, I think pile two just had the emperor in the exact same spot. <laughs> and we have the two of cups. This is water energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, the emperor can indicate Aries energy, but it's, you know, He's the king of kings. He's um, very often the card that represents divine masculine energy. So in your thoughts, I, th I feel like you're thinking um, this person, I mean, you think this person is your twin flame. Clearly, you're, you're watching this video, right? You have a very deep soul connection. I think you view the world very similarly and you may think in similar ways, you know, intellectually. Um, I feel like with the judgment card here, a lot of you, this you may be involved in a reconnection or, you know, reconciliation or coming together of, with someone from the past. Um, if that hasn't happened yet, that's, that's, I think, what you're hoping for. But that whoever this person is, I feel like either you've known them before, you've been involved with them in the past, um, or the connection inspires you um, to, I mean, you f they, being around them makes you, you feel like they're very familiar. Perhaps you feel a past life connection with this person. You know, in this card, <laughs> there are zombies um, are coming back to life. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like for a lot of you, this is a reconnection, someone from your past. Um, yeah, I'm getting that very strongly. A very deep soul connection, soul bond. You could be married to this person or hope for marriage also. Next, we have the Five of Swords. This is Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the Eight of Spears. So this is um, Rods or Wands. So that's Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And then we have the Ace of Coins. That's Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So in your feelings, in your heart space, um, I feel like you are moving away from feeling conflicted, perhaps you're feeling conflicted about this person, or you may have, um, you know, be in a current conflict or disagreement with this person. I, th I think you're thinking about a message. So either you are considering sending a message or you'll be receiving a message about a new start. That's what this Ace of Coins is. That's what you want with this person. I feel like for a lot of you, you, you already, um, have been involved with this person. You know, maybe you were in a relationship, maybe you were just friends, but you want to uh, start over. You want a brand new beginning. Um, and I think, you, you know, you're, I think for a lot of you, you may get that. Um, yeah, see how this figure here looks so sad and forlorn. I think you may be feeling that if you're currently in separation or not communicating with this person. Um, you know, if there's been a long separation or absence, but I see this movement here to something solid and stable. I think you need to, um, you know, both need to wipe the slate clean and approach this relationship differently from perhaps previous relationships or the way you, um, engaged with each other before. 
you know, you're, even though this may be person person that you already know, um, the relationship will be new, will be different. So, yeah, you could be receiving a message from this person saying that they want to start over, or you know, you yourself could be sending this message. But I, I do see a brand new start here for you, pile three. All right, next we have your Divine Feminine Messages of Love. First, I am becoming stronger every day. So if you're not currently communicating with this person, this time of separation or quiet, you are becoming stronger. Um, and that could be physically and mentally and spiritually. You know, you may be exercising more, um, eating more healthfully, um, and focusing really on changing your mindset. Um, you know... If there was conflict in the relationship, it could be that there was conflict within yourself. Maybe you're moving away from that. Um, but you're using this time to grow, to ascend to a higher level. Um, yeah, raise, raising your vibration and come back to me. So yeah, again, this return, right? I feel like for a lot of you, you were already involved with this person and you know, regardless of what was said or not said or done, you know, you want this person to return to you. I, I you know, I, I, for, I get very heavily the desire for reconciliation with someone from your past. And again, it could be a past life, but I feel like for a lot of you, um, it could be someone from this life from whom you've been separated. All right. And then as far as what you can do, pile three, in order to um, focus on right now to, to help support and grow you where you are. We have surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to center. So yes, breathe, meditate, pray. The breath is very important. By, by slowing down our breath, we slow down our heart rate and that can lead to an overall um, sense of peace and balance. So let go, you know, don't let yourself become mired in worry and doubt about this, um, relationship, um, this connection, you know, trust that it will come about when it's the perfect time, right? In divine timing. I know that can be frustrating to hear, but stressing and worrying about it is not going to improve your experience or, um, make things any easier. And next we have surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So it could have been you had to walk away from this connection because this person was in a really unhealthy place. You know, you have to um, give them the time and space to heal and yourself as well. And also surrender unhealthy relationship with yourself. If you are... Um, you know, a bully or toxic to yourself, you need to surrender that, let that go in order for you to be um, healthier as a, as an individual and as an, as a partner. Um, because the relationship that we have with ourselves lays the foundation for all of our other relationships in our lives. So yeah, you may have had to let go a toxic connection with this person in order to allow space for a new, improved and healthier connection with this person. And next, surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Yeah, if you are not communicating right now or in separation or whatever, there may be some type of conflict or challenge in the, in the connection, do not interpret that as you not being worthy of love or that you did something to deserve this. Don't view it as a punishment. Love yourself. We show others how to love us by how we love ourselves. Um, sunflowers could be significant to you or a favorite flower, but um, focus on loving yourself so that you don't look to this other person to make you feel beautiful, attractive, and worthy, right? You don't need someone else for that. And I think, you know, you focusing on doing things that bring you joy, um, complimenting yourself, um, doing things that inspire creativity and happiness will help to raise your vibration, to raise your self-esteem, and, and help to cultivate self-love. And then finally, we also have three cards came out as I was shuffling for from the Angels and Gemstone Guardian Cards deck. So these are double-sided cards. One side is an angel and the other side is a corresponding crystal. 
Um, so we have the angel of focus. I am focused and stay on track until a matter or situation is settled or complete. I accomplish what I set out to do. I pay attention and listen carefully. I am attentive to my own needs and the needs of others. So yeah, you may have a tendency to be scattered or procrastinate. So this card is asking for you to um, focus. Don't allow yourself to get so overwhelmed by all the tasks you may need to complete or steps or, you know, just in general so that you're not able to focus on one set, um, one step at a time. So yeah, do, and don't give up. You know, we, we can um, hinder ourselves and our progress, stop ourselves before we've begun because, um, you know, we allow ourselves to feel overwhelmed and, and that can discourage us. But you're being encouraged here to um, follow through, you know, allow yourself to be dependable for yourself, okay? Um, and be attentive. Um, but yeah, pay attention to detail and, and take things, you know, one step at a time. Don't, don't feel like you have to figure out the whole picture right away. And the corresponding uh, crystal with that is black obsidian. Have you been feeling scattered lately? Are you unable to focus on what's important? Look at all that is going on around you. Prioritize your intentions. Focus on one thing at a time. Ground yourself so that you can accomplish your goals. Yeah, just whatever you can do to ground yourself. Maybe even make a list of the steps that you need to do. Um, that way you can feel more organized and just take things one at a time. Maybe check them off as you do them. Um, but yeah, meditate on focus, on centering and you know slow down you, there's no there's no race here next we have the angel of nurturing i am cared for loved and appreciated my heart is open i allow love to fill me up body mind and soul i willingly nurture myself and others who truly need and want my nurturing so i'm getting a lot here you need to nurture yourself you know especially as a divine feminine it's very easy to offer nurturing um, to others and it can be more difficult more challenging sometimes for us to nurture ourselves We're, you know we get into a habit a pattern of always caring for others that our own needs can be left unfulfilled so the way that you nurture others the way you care for them listen to them do that to yourself engage in activities that make you feel safe and loved I feel like this ties back to the uh, surrender low self-esteem card you know, you deserve to be cared for and to be nurtured. So don't, don't forget that. And the corresponding crystal we have is, do you have a broken heart? Are you feeling unloved? Take the time to nurture yourself and know you are loved by the divine. Open your heart and have more compassion for yourself and others. Take a long bath and drink plenty of water to nourish yourself. Yeah, being in water, near water if possible. Um, you know, even though you may be feeling lonely, um, you're not alone. You, the divine is always with you and you are always connected spiritually and energetically to your uh, divine masculine. So, you know, if you're feeling sad and, um, you know, maybe depressed, whew, use this time to reconnect, to, um, I, yeah, again, to nurture yourself, to love yourself, do things for you, treat yourself the way you, you would treat your divine masculine or your best friend. You know, um, it's your, your healing begins with you. And then finally, we have angel of inner peace and grounding. I am calm and peaceful. All is well. My life is good. My roots absorb goodness from the all giving earth, which fills me up and brings me serenity. I am love and all that surrounds me and all that is attracted to me is love. <sighs> yeah, I think meditation and prayer, or mindful breathing would also be really great for you. Um, whatever activities uh, encourage, you know, balance and grounding within you. And also perhaps consider meditating on um, the interconnectivity of everything. You know, we're all manifestation of the divine, of love. Um, but yeah, doing things that encourage and help to cultivate inner peace will help you 
in all areas of your life, not just um, this divine twin flame connection. Is your mind on drive? Are you feeling physically hyperactive? Have you been sleeping well? This is hematite. It's important to be more grounded. Imagine roots growing through the soles of your feet into the earth. Allow disquieting thoughts and excess energy to drain away. So yeah, there have been a lot of themes that are um, common throughout the three piles. But again, you may be struggling with insomnia. Um, Try, you know, practicing good sleep hygiene. Um, so that can be, you know, only using your bed for sex or sleep. You know, don't do work. Um, you know, don't, um, you know, watch a bunch of YouTube videos right before going to sleep. Do things that help to calm you, to relax you. Perhaps create a sort of pre-sleep ritual. Um, you know, you could even consider incorporating these crystals into that ritual, those rituals or meditations. Um, but yes, focusing on centering yourself and slowing down your breath will help to um, cultivate greater peace. And that will just improve your, your um, health overall, you know, spiritually, mentally and physically. So pile three, I do hope that you enjoyed that reading. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. It means so much. And I ask you please continue to do so wherever you are in the world. Sending you so much love and light. Take good care.